What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're in Jupiter, Florida. Got both my parents and both my boys, Jake and Luke. Now I never start a video at the boat ramp, but it's Labor Day weekend. And I wanted to give you all some tips. Those of y'all that do trailer your boat back and forth. Whenever you get to the boat ramp, find an area where you can pull over and get out of the way. Load your boat up, have your boat prepared to where when there's a spot in line, like what's about to happen for me, you're ready to go. Because on Labor Day weekend, or any summer weekend for that matter, it can be crazy busy. The second most important thing is, is find you a boat driver. Unless you're by yourself, there's no reason to pull that boat in the water, tie it up to the dock, go park your truck, block the whole entire spot. Teach whoever's with you how to drive the boat if they don't already know how, and watch how easy it can go. So right now, my dad's in the boat. He can drive. If he wasn't here, so can Jake, my 10 year old. Now on most weekends, there's a ton of people waiting. You don't want to make everybody wait. Just that easy. Now I can go park the truck. My dad can drive the boat out there in the open and out of everybody's way. Now, what I just showed you can be a little bit stressful, but you know what? It'll make your life easier if everybody in your team works together. You have somebody back the truck in, somebody drive the boat. It's a win-win. When you get back, same thing. I'll leave my dad in the water with the boat. I'll run get the truck, back it in. Nobody's waiting on us. Everything goes smoothly. Luke, are you ready to go catch something? Yeah. What do you want to go catch? What are those oysters right there? Yeah, they would hurt if you fell on them. Next stop, we're gonna go to a little mangrove island where a lot of these checker puffer live. Look, look how many motors are on this big boat right here. Can you believe it? That is four boats. Look, ask grandma if she'll buy us that boat. Buy us that boat, grandma. Yeah, I'll get that That's what about $1.8 million will get you. Do you see the lighthouse over there? A lighthouse? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Have you ever climbed up to the top of it? No, I've never been on it. On the, on the top of it? Grandma has. Luke, I think he's looking for you. For those of y'all that live around South Florida, you know Labor Day weekend can get extra crazy. Law enforcement everywhere. They even got helicopters making sure people are behaving. Luke, get out and help me pull. Okay. Yeah, help you. Dad, can you look Jump. Jump, Luke. That was the credibleest thing Dad, you've ever done. Dad, they're trying to kill me. The boat. The boat's about to kill me. All right, so we just pulled up in one of our favorite little spots right here by a condo that my parents actually own. As you can see, I lost half my crew. We got some shrimp. We got some toady hooks. And we're going to try to bait these little checkered puffers up, see if we can't get some. Now, if you notice, only one power pole went down. That's because one of mine broke. But the best thing about power pole, that part will be here tomorrow, and I ordered it late last night. You can count on power pole, trust me. Now we need to catch some fish. I don't know if you can see it, but right there's a checker puffer. See him? Watch this. See if we can't get him. Here he comes. So these toadies have really tiny mouths. I use a little teeny piece of shrimp on a little teeny hook. Got number two. Look at that little guy. little checker puffer he might not look like much but scant hole and grilled on the grill oh he's gonna be amazing 
for all y'all that have kids, you know what the funny thing is, is the kids didn't want nothing to do with fishing until they seen old dad catch his first one. Now this is a pretty small one, but I'm gonna keep chumming and they'll smell these shrimp heads and start coming around the corner and we should catch plenty more. Jake, look, there's two of them there now. He, oh, no, 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 I got a snapper. Jake. I like snapper. Little schoolmaster. What do you have, Luke? Some crabs. What are you doing with all of them? There's a lot. I'm going to take them home and put them in the tank. All of them? He told me to carry these. He had an arm load. Luke, you're going to make all the crabs go extinct. You got so many. Woo! You got anything you want to say to your fans? There can be... I'm um, pinching crabs sometimes. Yeah. All right, well, we had to change spots. There's so many people playing music this weekend everywhere we go, so we just came over here and I started chumming and it didn't take me long to chum up some big ones. I got Jake standing over my left shoulder. He thinks he's gonna outfish his old dad, but watch yeah. this. Watch this, y'all. All right, Jake. Oh, I'm about to get him, Jake. Look at that. Get him for me, Dad. Y'all leave a comment below if you ever feel like having a tournament with your kid just to put them back in their place. That's where we're at right now. Hey, who got the 30-inch trout? Look right here, Jake. Now look right here. Look right here. Watch this, Jake. Watch this. Look at that. Holy Get him, Dad. We got three generations of Arringtons out here. And I'm doing work on the youngest one. Oh. Jake, what's the matter? Watch this. Look at that, Jake. Look at that, Jake. You want to see what one looks like? <laughs> Get him off, Dad. So I take the heads, and this is what I chum with. The tails. Son, this is a tournament. You got to get your own bait. Look at that big one, Jake. Big one. Big one. Dad, get my... Give him my hook, I can't win like this. Look at him right there, I see him, I see him. I'm about to catch, oh no, 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 this is the big one right here. Look at him. Oh, where'd he go? Get up here and eat that. No, 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 snapper, get off of it. Here he comes, I'm about to get him. Jake, get your hook away from my hook. Oh, he's coming to mine. He's coming to mine. I don't think so. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I just, look at that little thing I just caught. Jake, there's giants right here. I mean giants. Oh, one's coming to mine. Oh, he is too, son. You got him. Set the hook. Set the hook. Nope, I was just teasing. Dad, you are so annoying. Oh! <laughs> you deserve that. What? He's over here talking smack and he lost that patch too big one. I did. You did not hook him. You hooked me. Jake, keep your rod tight so don't get tangled. Did he get both of ours? Yeah. We just caught the same one. The same whopper. So Kelly's out doing a Goliath grouper dive in deep water, 80, 90 foot. Tonight, though, when she gets in, we're going to cook these toadies on the grill a way that I haven't ever cooked them before, and I think they're going to be so good. Oh, there he is. You see? Oh, yeah. You got him. I got Go. Him. I you missed him. I'll Jake, get him. I can't believe you missed all them fish. What's the matter? I'm beating you like 10 to 1. For all you competitive dads out there, thumbs up. Sometimes well, I you just the biggest. Sometimes you just got to put a spanking on your kids. I caught the biggest one. Holy cow, there he That's is. the key right there. Oh, and Jake just lost him. Looks like a bass having a Look at that! Seizure. Biggin! That's a jumbo! Alright, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm not even gonna fish. You just fish right now. I'll chum him. What is happening to that thing back there? Jake, 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 there's one right there. Go, go, go. I think you got him. Did y'all go? I just got the, the biggest one of the day. 
Looky, look at all them toadies. Whoop. <laughs> Why didn't you help us catch one? That thing's gonna bite the snot out of you. You never stick your finger in their mouth. Some big ones, some medium ones, and a small one. We're gonna turn him loose though. Bye, buddy. All right, y'all, leave a comment below and tell me what you did for Labor Day. Me, my mom, Jake, and Luke, my dad, we're out here at the sandbar catching toadies just goofing off. We got this. A new home for a hermit. Them toadies are going to taste good tonight. Ooh. What do you think, Luke? Good. Go I see. Mean... Let's see who can run. Let's see who can win a foot race. Go. On your marks, get Wait, set, go. go. Mom, what's wrong with those two kids? The nuts don't fall far from the tree. That one's I don't know what she was trying to say there. Anyhow, we're gonna set this camera down and enjoy the rest of our day. All right, and just like that, we're back in. If you notice the ramps way back out there, anytime you pull your boat out of the water, pull way up out of the way, get out of everybody's way, pull over to the side, then you can unload your stuff and you don't have to be in a hurry. Right now, we're heading to my house in Stewart, Florida to cook these toadies for dinner. It's actually funny because Kelly thinks they're really deadly poisonous, which they are. So she's sort of nervous to eat them, but little does she know they're actually safe. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna go film an iguana catch, clean and cook, and we're gonna get in the water and swim with these things and it's gonna be so much fun. So we'll see y'all back at my house in about 45 minutes, but really it'll be right now. That's right, we're back. I've actually edited almost all of this video but the cooking part. Look how cool these little things are. See those teeth though? <laughs> those teeth do not play around. So this is how we clean them. I got my big 13 inch Danko. So right behind its head where that soft and hard spot meet, take the knife just like that, come through, just like that. Now this is where it gets a little grotesque and for people that eat frog legs, y'all will know. Sometimes you just gotta pop it out of there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like what we say when we're cleaning frog legs, you just take its pants off. It's a lot easier when you have a pair of like catfish cleaning pliers. No, you just strip it. Just strip it. And just like that, it's done. As you can see, I've already cleaned three more. I'm gonna clean this last one, Jake told me. I had better save him some, so I'm not going to clean all of them today. Pop it open just like that. I like to have a rag, then you can grab it and your hands won't slip. Sound effects though. Just like that. Kelly's over here thinking, well, they're not going to be good, I'm not very sure. She swims with sharks for a living and she's worried about eating a puffer. Now there is something in these toadies that could definitely kill you, but whatever it is has never affected us, ever. My buddies gig them, they cast net them, however they can get them. They're not really bony at all. They don't look bony. The worst I've ever had happen when I was eating them was I went into like seizures for like four or five minutes, but it wasn't even bad. I went through way worse <laughs> in high school. Stop. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad. I'm gonna make this super simple. Got some olive oil infused with garlic, a little bit of butter, five little toadies. I don't have the pan sizzling hot because they're a little bit thicker than most toadies. To be honest with you, some of these big ones are really, really big. They're not always that big. I'm gonna take a little bit of Lowry's garlic salt. I love my Danos, but I also love this Lowry's for certain dishes. Then I'm gonna take my garlic. This is fresh garlic. I minced it, I just put it in this jar. About that much. Some ginger. About that much. And some lime. I was really not too sure about this giant filet knife when they asked me to try it. I love this thing. Especially because Kelly and I are going to go to the Bahamas soon. 
when you take a hogfish that's really thick like that, not thick deep, but thick tall, this will be so good for that. Look at that though. But can y'all smell it? So I've got some rice noodles cooked up. I put a little bit of garlic and butter in. And I've got some asparagus, broccoli, onions, and zucchini. They're little tails. They're little tails. Smells good. Go show them the big one in the fish tank, though. You guys, I have a heart. So there's two things i got to tell you. One is the lobster. That lobster is going to get turned back loose in the wild. I was cooking lobster and he was in the sink for hours. He was on ice for hours. And all of a sudden, I look and his eyeballs were moving. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's still alive. Put him in the tank and now he's thriving. He'll even eat. We named him Lucky. Because he's lucky he didn't end up in some garlic butter. And the same with the toady. The last toady was still alive. I'm like... I gotta put him back in the tank. So, for all y'all who think I'm a ruthless killer because I love to hunt, that ain't true. I said earlier we might be doing an iguana video tomorrow. I think we're gonna go shark diving because Kelly is a shark, like that's, she lives, eat, and sleep sharks. And it's funny because her and I sort of don't disagree, but we don't agree with sharks. So, she's taking me to her world tomorrow and we're gonna swim with them and see. If they're as friendly as she says they are. Every time Aubrey and I and Deer Meat for dinner see them, they're wanting to eat us. Kelly says they're just playing, so we're going to go see you tomorrow. If I'm not here the next day, <laughs> blame it on her. So I'm just going to keep flipping them over. You could play them, but then I don't think you would get the adjust of what we're actually cooking. That's so interesting. It's going to taste so interestingly good. You cold? I don't know why my nipples get hard when I cook. Y'all ever notice every, and it, I'm not being weird, but I'm, I edit, so I have to look at all this. I'm like, why are my nipples always hard when I'm cooking? <laughs> but are you excited? I am pretty stoked. You have your, um, what is that kit that when you start having like a really bad reaction and your throat closes? Um, an EpiPen. Do you have one? <laughs> yeah. Because these things are crazy poisonous. All right, pick it up and try it. Look, it's like, you see the little dorsal fin on there? Oh gosh. You know, these guys' buddies right over your shoulder looking at you. Oh my God, no. <laughs> He's like, thank you for not eating me. Okay. Good. I told you it was going to be good. <laughs> it's no joke that toadies are good. You've seen them on almost every YouTuber that does catch Clean and Cook's channel. And it's always good. But it's illegal to keep them north of Jupiter. So make sure if you're going to keep toadies that you're Jupiter or south. Don't go north. They are good. It's a little strange though. Like I'm kind of spooked about eating it because they're such cute little puffer fish. But... If you eat carefully around the bone, you can save it for like a hairbrush later. Where's that? Where's that? There's no telling where that crazy dog is. So I found these rice noodles, I don't know, six months ago, and they are so good with anything. Most people I know fry them, but I wasn't into frying them today. Yeah, no. No frying. Frying no good. It's very sometimes when you eat them though your mouth will get numb like I no kidding my mouth when I eat these sometimes gets a little bit numb because that's what the poisonous poison is in them is like a paralyzing effect why are we eating these <laughs> because they're good that's why we're eating them I'm spooked I'm only eating one then why? You just told me my mouth's gonna go numb if I eat them. Well, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just wanna dig into these vegetables because they're so good. She's got me eating all kinds of healthy food. I haven't drank any Mountain Dew in a week. Kudos, yay. Yeah, shout out to me. And for all y'all that watched that and thought I was a little bit hard with Jake, 
Give me a break. He's my kid. I raised him. I pay his bills. <laughs> Every now and then it's good for dad to put a whooping on old Jake because he does get a little bit conceited and cocky. So I literally caught 10 to his one today. Oh, I only caught one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna finish this hey, meal. I'll be right, what? How big was that trout he caught though? Oh, he did catch a 30 inch <laughs> trout and y'all already heard him say that in this video, which Kelly got it mounted for me with Gray's taxidermy. Anytime you want anything mounted, what's your taxidermy deal? I can get you 20% off and just email me. It's in uh, the description of my videos, my email. There you go. If you want anything mounted, go to the link below any of her videos and you'll see it in the description. All right, you guys, this is it. You're seeing our world. We've already caught the fish, cleaned the fish, cooked the fish, cleaned the kitchen. Now Kelly and I are here editing. She edits on Final Cut Pro. I edit on Adobe Premiere. When we get done with the video, we come home, upload all of our footage, go through it, lay the video out. You can see here, here's my whole video. Everything that you've watched thus far. So I'm right here at the end. What's your taxidermy deal? Bam, now all I gotta do is put up what you're seeing at this moment on the end and hit upload. Put it on YouTube, monetize it, and the rest is history. But thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for all the positive comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we will see y'all soon. Redneck. Redneck. Say peace out, Redneck. Look at me. Where's he? All right, well, oh, okay. Nothing. She got nothing. Redneck. Hey. Oh, there we go. Look at me again. But like Jake always says, it's time to get the heck up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.